Bruce and I'm sitting here this afternoon talking with Lauren a little bit and uh, consented to do an interview and so here we are. Uh, like I said my name is Bruce. I, uh, I am a resident, lifelong citizen and so on and so forth of the United States. Uh, last five years I spent in Costa Rica and uh, moved down there because a friend of mine moved there and after I visited him eight times in seven years I decided that's where I was going to retire. Uh, came to Columbia four years ago to visit. One of my first places that I came to was uh, Armenia. Liked the town. It's uh, similar in size to my hometown of Lincoln, Nebraska. So from that aspect, I'm not a big city kind of guy. I like smaller places. So did that. And also, uh, the weather here is very, very similar to where I live in Costa Rica. Elevation is within a thousand feet of being the same. So I love the, love the, uh, the climate. Uh, I really like Costa Rica from the aspect of, I like the late, the culture is much more laid back than the States. And having retired, I like that. Uh, I like the weather a lot. I've got some lung issues that really mess up in cold weather. So. The warmer climate is something that I need to have for probably the rest of my life. And I find the same thing here. Uh, what I really like difference-wise between Colombia and Costa Rica is the cost of living. Uh, Costa Rica is cheaper than living in the States. Colombia is about 60% of what Costa Rica is. And I like that. I'm on a fixed income. I can live very comfortably in Costa Rica. I can live more comfortably here. And I like that. <laughs> There's uh, more diversity here than there is in Costa Rica uh, from an aspect of, of uh, different types of, of climate, different types of scenery, but this is a much bigger country than Costa Rica. Costa Rica is less than 20,000 square miles and as I understand it, Colombia is about two times the size of Texas. So, bigger, different things to do, different opportunities. Um, I'm interested in moving here. I'm think right now I've got a couple other questions that I want to get answered that I've got uh, questions out to people to answer. But, uh, and Lauren gave me a lot of really good information and I appreciate that. I appreciate his time letting me talk here with you guys. And, they're there. Hell, we spent about three hours having lunch the other day and had a great chat. Enjoyed the company immensely and got a ton of information. So uh, I'm right now looking at about a six month time frame to move from Costa Rica to here um, and looking at prices of stuff here, which is what I've been doing the last couple days while I'm here. Uh, I can sell all my stuff that I've got in Costa Rica used and almost buy new here for the same money because used stuff in Costa Rica is ridiculously priced because of their import taxes. So uh, that's another thing that I liked about here. I like where uh, Colombia's government is as far as stability. Uh, Costa Rica is on a downhill slide in debt that they have not uh, figured out how to handle yet and I'm not so sure where they're going to wind up five, ten years down the road and I would just as soon not be part of that if it goes that way. So um, I like the stability here, I like the climate, I like the cost of living. There, I don't see a whole lot of difference in the Latino culture from Costa Rica to here. Again, I have not spent as much time here as I have in Costa Rica. But uh, 
I love the friendliness of the people here in Armenia. They're very similar to uh, Costa Rica. The other day when I was going to meet Lauren at the mall, sat down out front waiting for him, and two different guys engaged me in conversation. One was uh, spoke no English, and uh, so we had a pseudo conversation because my Spanish is terrible. But uh, the other guy spoke some English because he'd been in the States and he wanted to talk English. So we had another conversation. So for about 15 minutes I sat and chatted with these two guys and, and uh, very friendly, very helpful. And uh, I enjoy my time here. I enjoy the culture. I've been looking at different types of apartments, living facilities, and what it takes to live here. And I'm impressed compared to what I've been accustomed to the last five years in Costa Rica. The import taxes there are horrendous. Uh, so you do with fewer uh, American products. And uh, I went through a couple of the malls here, specifically looking at for American food items and American clothing items and things like that. And the prices were far more reasonable than they are in Costa Rica. The, talking about our, Armenia, uh, as I said, the city in size-wise is very similar to where I came from in Nebraska. I'm basically a, a farm boy, and that's a farming country. This is a farming country, coffee around here. That's similar to where I'm at in Costa Rica. Um, compared to some of the places that I've been to in Latin America, Armenia is a really, really clean city. Very clean city. Um, one of the things that impressed me, I rented an apartment for a week here, um, and was standing out on the deck the other morning, Two people that lived in uh, condos down below where I was at had the doors open on their patios when they left. Tells me they're pretty secure where they're living. Uh, I'm sure that not all parts of town are like that, but uh, that impressed me that somebody felt free to leave the door open, second floor granted, somebody would have to crawl on the balcony to get into their house, but they left the doors open and left. So that tells me they're pretty comfortable about where they're living. Uh, I don't like the addresses here, but that's something that a person's just got to learn. And, but love, love the uh, meals that I've eaten here have been outstanding. Uh, there's a, a higher quality of uh, restaurants than what I'm used to finding in, in at least the part of Costa Rica where I live. It's more of a rural area again because that's what I like. and. Uh, you go into San Jose and Heredia or Alajuela in Costa Rica, and you're going to find the same kind of stuff you find here. Probably not the same as in Bogota or Medellin, but those are big cities, and I don't like them either. So, um, from the aspect, I have not been here. This the first time I was here. I was here for about three or four days, and I've been here four days this time, and uh, I really don't have any negatives about the city. Um, I don't like the addresses, but again, that's just something that I need to learn from what I grew up with. It's different, and it's just part of a culture that I need to adapt to when you get to someplace else. And it was one of the things that I've seen people that, that uh, expats that came to Costa Rica that uh, stayed for six months or a year and left because the country didn't adapt to them. And uh, that's not the way the program works. You adapt to where you're going. And uh, I find that easy to do with the Latin culture, at least personally, and that's, that's just me talking for me. I can't talk for everybody. The guy I'm traveling with is a lot more uptight than I am, and he's got more issues with how things work than I do. But that's, again, it's all a personal preference thing on, on uh, what's your point of reference and what's your level of patience and tolerance and your adaptability. You know, I'm a, I'm a stranger in this country, I'm a guest. And as long as uh, I'm a guest, I need to adhere to the rules of the games here. And that's not a problem. I uh, really, you know, Lauren talked in, in one of his videos about, don't know what I can say that's bad about Armenia. And I have to get on that boat because, uh, like I said, I've only been here a few days, but. I have really no negatives about the place. It's clean. Uh, it seems to be an easy town to get around in. 
the area where I'm staying, I'm very comfortable walking around. Getting a taxi is a piece of cake, at least. I'm on Avenida 19 and walk outside the building three or four minutes later, I'm in a cab and gone wherever I'm going. Uh, love the restaurants I've been to, enjoying my time here. More clouds than I like, but I don't know if that's typical of here all the time or if it's just a part of what I brought with me. <laughs> but uh, I enjoy it here and I'm looking at, at uh, assuming that I get the other questions that are yet unanswered, answered appropriately. Uh, I will be moving here in about six months' time. So, decision I've made in the last couple days. It was in my head before I came down here this time, because I'm uh, a little dissatisfied with where Costa Rica is going. And uh, I love the country. I love the people. Love the climate. I find all of that same stuff here with a much more stable political and. Uh, economically set government and I think that's an important at least in my life that's an important decision I'm not a money guy by any stretch of the imagination but I don't want the things around me to fall apart while I'm in part of it that's another thing that I like about this at least at least this part of Colombia the infrastructure here seems to be outstanding the roads are good uh, haven't had any fluctuations in the, in the lights or the water. Uh, all of that stuff is, is, is good. And again, this is a much bigger country. They've got a much larger financial base. And uh, I just look at it from a stability point of view. And uh, Lauren and I kind of had this conversation the other day that I look at, at uh, the, the states where I came from as a first world country. Colombia as a second world country and Costa Rica kind of as a third world country and we conversed the other day that we could find fifth world country places in the states <laughs> if you go find a place in Detroit or LA or San Francisco or for any place, less than many places in the United States are not first world stuff and you can find that probably anywhere you go but I also believe that you find what you're looking for when you go wherever you're going. If you're looking for the bad, you're going to find it. If you're looking for the good, you're going to find it. And I can never understand the people that go through life waking up and having a, planning on having a bad day, because they're going to. I would rather wake up and plan on having a good day, and I do that. So, so you're thinking kind of about Armenia? Absolutely Armenia. Yeah. Um, there are some other areas that I would like to look at besides Armenia, but I think my plan would be to come here, spend a year. I can take side trips. I like smaller towns, so Kalarka, Circassia, uh, possibly even Cartago. Uh, <laughs> I, I know that it's, it's bigger, but I, you know, I'll be here for a year and there's enough places close enough that you can day trip to that I can look at a lot of places in a place that I'm already feeling very comfortable. 